What's up, guys? T5 Administrator here. So, um, you guys know that I I like playing basketball games. I like playing a lot of sports games. I don't really upload them that much because I feel like that's not really what my channel was built on. Therefore, I feel like it it might cause um I don't know. I uploaded. I sometimes I upload rebuilds on 2K. I used to do a, a New York Knicks franchise as a series on NBA Live 18, but I never did anything like that for NBA Live 19 because it wasn't really requested. Um, but one of my most viewed videos, and I think actually is my most viewed videos, I'm pretty sure 16 or 17 thousand views, is me comparing NBA 2K 18 and NBA Live 18. Now. NBA 2K18 is not on, is probably widely regarded as one of the worst NBA 2K installments into that franchise. I think that NBA Live 18 was better than NBA 2K18. That's, I think that that is true. I think 2K19 is a better game than Live 19, but I really like playing NBA Live. Something about NBA Live that I like, it's, um... It's, it's fresh when I mean, you play a lot of 2k you hop on live and and just, just play the game play some online games start a franchise it, it's it's not all as fleshed out as 2k or anything like that but it, it it's fresh it's different and plus live has just added in the free agent frenzy rosters so that means PG and Kawhi are on the same team James Harden and Russ are on the same team. CP3 is in OKC. Uh, Anthony Davis, Boogie Cousins, and LeBron are on the same team. Um, the Pelicans have Lonzo, Ingram, Hart, <coughs> and all those guys. And that is mostly what this video is aiming towards. Um, they usually... If you don't play a lot of sports games, usually they don't update the rosters this late in the year. You know, usually they'd be working on the next game by now. Um, they would usually save the the newest rosters for the next game. And this, because because 2K19 does not have these rosters. NBA 2K19 has the past season rosters. Okay, so there is roster sharing in that game. So you can get these rosters on 2K19 easily but there is not an actual patch put out an actual roster update from 2k themselves putting these rosters into the game and this has a lot of nba live fans including me kind of getting a little uh concerned um at least i was concerned until i really started to think about it so so you really you, you look you see you have these rosters but what you'll realize about these rosters is that the rookies are not in the game now if they were to cancel NBA live 20 and that's what people are scared of maybe they'll scan the rookies in and add them in in a later roster update um, I'm not entirely nobody's entirely sure what's going on with NBA live we haven't heard anything from the the EA devs about NBA live uh, or anything and a lot of people are pretty pretty uh, concerned about this um, why you may ask yes 2k has been for a while an overall better basketball game but i like to buy nba live every year because they always get better there's always something improved something new so if you just like if you like nba live's gameplay kind of how it feels but you know that there's certain problems with it that can be easily fixed like there's there's little stuff in nba live that that can easily be fixed that would make the game great i mean the game looks great that that's probably my favorite thing of, about nba live all of the suit all of the superstars faces a lot of the um the role players here. like look at mike d'antoni like he looks great that's a great looking mike d'antoni like i think the game looks great i think the environments in the game look great i think that the the courts the arenas the crowd the rims, the way that the rims work when you dunk on them when, when the ball goes in, I think that's better than NBA 2K. I think that 2K has the player models down a little bit more. The bodies look a lot better. 
the sweat looks a lot better like the, the environments on live look better than 2k but 2k has the the actual how the people in the game look how their their mouths move how they move you know when when Russ dunks how he does his his celebration he stomps on the ground like the the players themselves are much more true to real life in NBA 2k where the environment on NBA live is just much better I mean if you look over to the right there's 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 a, the scores table and then there's there's ads that they usually put on the score like NBA store.com and all that stuff and 2k that's written with 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 VC ads and and all kinds of other stuff whereas NBA live tries to stay true to what, what would really be there you know they it the environment looks much better and that that's kind of one reason I like playing NBA live so much it gets better I think that it, it's they make clear strides um, you upgrade your you're the one character by actually playing the game there's no virtual currency there's no way to buy yourself a better player or anything like that you get the you you, you get your traits or your badges and, and you get your attributes through work you take that the live run you take that the 5v5 pro-am you play with your friends um, I think that live is 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 fun it gets it gets better every year the connection gets better there's not as much input delay on NBA live when you go online um, but that's not really what this video is about and this video isn't about which game is better I'm kind of going on a bit of a tangent but this video is about what is going to happen for live 20 because at this point EA is either holding out something huge or they're just holding out bad news like live 20 is delayed or live 20 is not coming out now my thing about M uh, uh, a full-fledged NBA live 20 release not coming out this doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing um, you think about um, a lot of a lot of games think think about PC gaming like modders do a lot of cool stuff with games all the time and with texture packs on on Minecraft and the way the game they you uh, if modders can just make a game look better from what it is you know maybe obviously a de like real developers can do that so my what, what I'm basically trying to say here is let's say NBA Live 20 is not coming out maybe we got NBA Live 19.5 okay they come out with a free update for everybody who owns the game with graphics upgrades rookie scanned in a bunch of 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 technical gameplay changes like honestly live just needs reach reaches need to be toned down you can spam you can spam in this game steals need to be toned down in live run um we just need some better paint defense in live run the actual live 19 gameplay like head-to-head -head gameplay is great i love it i love how the how the game how, how everything happens sometimes it looks a, a little weird how stuff goes down because it the game the game runs smooth in the way it looks when you're just dribbling up the court but when stuff starts to get hectic and a lot of people are running into each other it starts to look kind of kind of suspect it kind of looks weird but if if let's say we get tune very tuned shot contest we fix shot contest issues we tone down steals and, and and reaches off your off off your 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 defensive stops because the way the game works you they go right you go right you stop them and then what happens is people will just spam square as soon as they see the little green arrow in live run if they, these things are fixed and we get a, a, a graphics upgrade maybe we get some some new faces in the game maybe you get completely new scans for a lot of the superstars you know, maybe Live 20 not coming out could be a good thing because I'm I'm almost 99% sure that putting out a completely new game and trying to tune, putting out a graphics upgrade and trying to tune a game that you've been working on for a whole year is is gonna is gonna have way less problems and glitches. You put out a whole new game 
that's that's more glitch that's way more glitches that's way more problems that it's a whole different thing you're not as familiar with it. it's a brand new thing that you haven't been working on all year but if you keep you were to keep tuning this game update the rosters upgrade the graphics get some new faces scanned in make it look as much like a new game as possible and maybe release it for thirty dollars for anybody who doesn't already own live 19 and everybody who already has live 19 We'll just get this update. NBA Live 19.5. NBA Live 20 has, doesn't have to come out right now. You know, this... That seems to me like a great idea. I would be down for that. I don't know. But, of course, I would love for NBA Live 20 to come out. Obviously. But, if it doesn't happen, there are still some really cool things that could go down. That, um... That, that would be really good for NBA Live. That's all I'm saying. Don't get too concerned. Most likely it's coming out. We had leaks with for Luca being on the cover. It, it's definitely coming out. We had uh, some mocap going down for NBA Live 20 uh, a couple months back. I'm pretty sure it's coming out, but what I'm saying is if it doesn't come out, there are alternatives that could happen with NBA Live 19 that could be really great. Or what I'm hoping is happening, they're holding out some fat news right now something they're gonna do something completely insane like have their own parks or something crazy in NBA live that they they want to keep to the last minute we have seven weeks until uh, uh, a, a, a like a a realistic release date for a NBA live game should happen but the problem is the last time they updated rosters this late in the year and NBA live 10 NBA live 11 got canceled so I just, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't be too concerned. I'm pretty sure the game's coming out. We're all pretty sure the game's coming out. I'm pretty sure, I think they're just holding out something. Something super, something really, really good. Because they have said on numerous occasions they feel like 2K steals from them. But that's basically all I have for today, guys. Um, NBA Live, I can't really tell what's going on with NBA Live. None of us can. But hopefully something great's going to happen down the line because I love playing NBA Live. I think it's a fun game. And it's a good alternative to 2K. I don't want to be playing one basketball game all the time. Um, peace out. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.